Hi there and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers tutorial. Today is going to be a really exciting tutorial about making one of these retro 3D effects. You can see here it looks like the way you used to put the 3D glasses on with the red and green and you've got that sort of distorted image and you can um, make it look 3D. Okay, these are really cool and popular at the moment and I um, hope you have fun making one yourself. So what you'll need is a photograph of a face. Once you've got that, you're going to need to use one of the filters. You're going to go up to the filter menu and find the filter gallery. Once you've found that, you're going to be looking in sketch for the half tone pattern. Once you've found that, you're going to need to adjust the size to the size that suits you, about four, and you're going to adjust the contrast. So if you have too much contrast, it goes white. If you have too little, it goes kind of gray. So you want it sort of in the middle somewhere, like so. Once you've done this, you're going to click OK, and you're going to have your half tone pattern effect, which is going to make it look really retro, like a sort of newspaper print, kind of pop arty vibe to it. Once we've done this, we're going to unlock the layer, and we're going to duplicate the layer by dragging it into the plus box at the bottom. So we've got two copies of it. We're then going to make one of them green and one of them red, to create the effect. So we go to Image, Adjustments, Hue Saturation. We're looking for the Hue bar at the top and we're going to move it around till we get to the greens. And we're going to saturate it so it's nice and bright. Make it a little bit bluer. This bit. Perfect. Once we're happy with that, we click OK. We're then going to hide this layer and go on to the background layer or the back layer. And we're going to go to Image, Adjustments, Hue Saturation, and this time we're going to find the reds. And again, once we've got the reds, we're going to saturate it so it's nice and bright, like so. Click OK. Now we're going to go back to the green layer, make sure the eye is on it. We're going to change the layer mode to Multiply, and you'll see that it instantly will turn black because of the red and the green. And then we're going to go to the Move tool, and we're going to move it slightly to one side to create the effect we're looking for. So you can either have it green on this side or green on this side. I think personally it looks better like this. And we're going to make sure it's just off centre how we like it, like that. And then once we've got this, we will go up to the crop tool and we can then crop in the image. So we've got the bit we want without the bit on the edge and press enter and there you go there is our retro 3d effect we can also make adjustments to the levels to make sure we get the blacks how we want them so we can bring the black line in here and we can play around with the colors here the whites make it look exactly how we want it so we create that really lovely retro feel okay you will going to go get your red and green specs put them on and you should have a bit of a 3d image going on in front of you okay hope you've enjoyed this fun tutorial if you have obviously thank you for watching and um look forward to some of the other videos there'll be one i'll link up here and you can have a look at it and see some other effects you can do okay thanks for watching again and have a great rest of your day. Okay, goodbye.